The Supreme Court will hear arguments today in a new abortion case that could impact women across the country. The conservative-leaning court is set to decide if access to the so-called abortion pill should be limited. CBS chief legal correspondent Jan Crawford has more. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So, I mean, this case could really have far-reaching implications. Mifepristone, the, the drug at issue, is used in nearly two-thirds of all abortion. Now, the right to abortion itself is not the issue here, but whether the FDA overstepped when it made the pill easier to get. Two years after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, I want to die. The issue of abortion is back at the high court. The Supreme Court is weighing whether the Food and Drug Administration adequately considered safety when it expanded access to the pill. In 2016, the FDA extended the window women can take mifepristone from 7 to 10 weeks. And during the pandemic in 2021, it said an in-person doctor's visit was not needed, allowing mail-order pharmacies to ship the drug nationwide. Critics say those changes compromise women's health and want regulations back to how the pill was prescribed for the first 16 years it was in use. This case is about safeguards for women who choose to take abortion drugs. If women are going to take abortion drugs, then they should have adequate and common sense protections. Abortion rights groups disagree and say mifepristone is safe. This case is just a blatant effort to further restrict abortion access nationwide. The case comes at a critical time, with abortion access a key issue in the presidential election. Last week, former President Trump suggested he would support a national ban around 15 weeks, while President Biden vowed this. We will restore Roe v. Wade again as the law of the land. Now, if the court rules against the FDA, it would restrict access to that drug even in states where abortion remains legal. We are expecting a decision by the end of June. Chanel? Thank you. And for more on this, I want to bring in CBS News campaign reporter Shauna Mizell. She joins us on the phone right now. Shauna, what's really at the center of this debate, and what can we expect to hear come out of this discussion today? Good morning. So at the center of this debate is whether the FDA acted correctly in rolling back regulations surrounding NEPA Pristone. Those regulations included allowing the drug to be mailed and also, you know, lessening the requirements for who could prescribe this drug. They allowed nurse practitioners instead of doctors to be able to prescribe NEPA Pristone. But first, the justices will have to determine if the group who brought this lawsuit has legal standing to bring a lawsuit against the Food and Drug Administration. What we'll be expecting to be hearing today will be surrounding those arguments. Do we have a sense, Shauna, of how the court might lean on this issue? You know, I think that really remains to be seen, but the biden Harris campaign held a press call yesterday where they sought to highlight that three of the justices that will hear arguments here today were appointed by former President Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. They underscored that this is the same court that overturned Roe versus Wade, and they really sought to emphasize the wide-ranging implications that could be had on access to abortion nationwide, depending on how the justices go on this. Mm -hmm. Some notable points there. Shana Mizell, thank you. Thank you.